No! Oh! You know what else, pal? You know what? Take this too, okay? Yeah, you like that? Welcome to Bootstrap Island, an intense, realistic VR survival game. So I actually saw this game just popped up on my Steam, and I have never seen any gameplay on it or anything, so I decided to hop into it with no knowledge about it, and to say I was surprised was an understatement. So it looks like I've just arrived here off a shipwreck. Dude, everything has actual physics. Yo, that is insane. So I literally have no idea what this game's about. i just seen it on Steam. How do I open this? There's a chest. Okay, I'm assuming I need some sort of... Yeah, what I was saying, though, is these graphics look so damn good. Um, and I'm only on the um, air link, so I can only imagine how good this looked on link cable. There we go. Okay. All right, what are we going to get here? Open her up. Oh, okay, shit. Hold on here. Yo, no way. Off the rip. Holding that pistol, you felt like you had a chance. Oh, dude, this is so sick. Can I put it on my hip or anything? I can't. So the more that I actually played this game, the more I was impressed with how good this really is in VR. And this game is actually pretty brutal. You have three stats. You have three stats you kind of have to watch. I believe that's health, hunger, and thirst, as I believe is all three of them. But it's really, really cool because the way you can actually physically break open the coconut and then drink out of it, it just works so, so good in VR. But the one thing that I did not expect about this game, okay? is what happens at night. I thought it would just be a normal day and night cycle without anything going on at night. Let me tell you, that is very, very far from the truth. Okay, hopefully we can start a fire with this shit right here on us. Oh, yes! Okay. Oh, fuck. Should've done that quicker. Dude! Got a fire! Dude, that is actually sick as hell. Okay, we have made fire. Night was falling, and the beast could smell blood. What does that mean? What the fuck is that? So apparently at night, if you don't have a fire, at least from my understanding, you, you're gonna get attacked, okay? I've seen three different types of creatures so far in this game here, and that is like some sort of lizard, you know, those bat things we saw in the sky, and then also a dog. It almost looked like a hellhound, okay? Even with the fire, you can still get attacked, so you do have to be careful, but they seem to go away when, of course, the sun rises, so you just gotta make it through the night. You gotta pretty much set up camp and just hope for the best dude yeah i don't think they'll do anything because of the fire i mean i could be wrong but yeah they're not doing shit i think the fire was the key i didn't need to be unloading with all my ammo on these guys they're just chilling here okay i'm assuming they only attack and don't have a fire you know what i mean oh, okay never mind oh shit fucking out of ammo out of ammo oh no shot they're gone! Oh, you made it. We made it through night one. What about oh. tomorrow? Oh. Look at all these motherfuckers I killed. Holy, holy hell, this game was not what I anticipated it to be, but this is absolutely awesome. I'm out of ammo for my gun here. The mountain oh, spoke. What now, dude? Is it really about to erupt? Oh shit, get in the water! Get in the water! So the one thing I noticed about this game is the days seem to go by really fast. So you're just playing, right? Next thing you know, night has already arrived. Like, it feels oddly fast. Um, just something I wanted to note there. Um, but besides that, this game kept telling me, the narrator, of course, kept telling me, um, you should go explore, blah, blah, blah. And it makes sense, you know, I did want to explore the island, so I decided to head out, head somewhere that I haven't met before. This might end poorly, but I'm gonna try to make a trip. You know, I, I don't know if this is bad. But let's get headed out there, boys. Which fate is worse? To sink beneath the waves? Okay, cool. Or to perish on this strange land? At land, we have arrived. The boat ain't too far away. I really hope there's not, like, pirates on there or something. I'm gonna go on there and get lit up. I really hope not. I think sun's going down, too, so we might have to wait till morning. But we'll see if we can't make it out here. My stats aren't looking horrible. I'm pretty hungry, though, I'm not gonna lie. I should probably take a rock with me. In case there's any um, chests in there we can move. There's a lot of stuff right here. It looks like we'll probably be able to make a fire here tonight. I don't know if we're going to survive because of uh, my health, but we're going to give her a shot. Oh, there's a chest up front at least. Let's see if there's anything good then. Give me like a backpack, please. That would be so clutch. Oh my god. So after we explored the ship, night set in quick. 
And let me tell you guys, every night held something new for me. And this night, this night was no exception. Ow! Oh! Ow, oh, my hatch! Flame could have kept the creep What is? at bay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why is there a lizard? What is that? What is that? What is that? No! Oh! Go! Go! Oh, shit! We barely made it until sunrise. The loss of blood oh. that was making you crazy. Oh. Oh, oh wow. So Bootstrap Island is honestly very, very fun. One of my one of my favorite VR survival games I've played to date. Um, and it is so damn cool. You cool how there's so much enemy variety. I didn't even know there was enemies in the game to begin with, honestly. <laughs> so really, really cool surprised me there. And the way that you can craft start fires and stuff is absolutely awesome here. I did run into one game breaking glitch. Um, I will put on screen right now. Oh no, no, I think I just broke the game. No, please don't tell me I'm stuck, dude. No, I broke the game. I actually broke the game. Oh no. But besides that, I didn't run into any other glitches, but, but you guys, I think we're gonna wrap this video up here. If you enjoyed, drop a like and something down below as it does help the channel out, you know, and uh, I would appreciate it. And, uh, and you guys have been thinking about doing some full videos, just commentary, you know, without voiceovers mixed in. Let me know what you guys would think about that. Anyways, you guys, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.